All right, tomorrow is the day, the 4th of July, and it's going to be a scorcher out there. That's yeah. right. Ev, can you cool it down just I'm for us a little bit? Ooh. <laughs> the pool, the beach, stay That's indoors, what have you. Let <laughs> me try to cool it down. Yeah, yeah. but yes, I, all, all of the above, mm -hmm. you know, and even though the beach will be cooler and yeah. a lot of us flock there, yeah. we have to keep in mind two things at the beach. Mm. Uh, we're talking high bacteria levels in the water, so we need to check that out before you get in the water and go. We're also talking about rip currents, so those two things could put a little damper in the mix at the beach, so just remember that before you head to the coast. Otherwise, if we get a look at current conditions in Corona, we're at 71 degrees. So it's a warm night, a mild night, but temperatures will continue to get even warmer, of course, in the afternoon. And every day we're getting incrementally warmer. So tomorrow we're getting up to 102 in the IE, the high desert at 111. The mountains at 90, the valleys 101. As we get a look at your future cast right here, you will see high pressure continuing to build across Southern California. And it's going to build, build, and build. I mean, that means temperatures will continue to stay warm conditions dry through the weekend and even through next week. It's not until midweek next week where we start to actually feel a little bit of a difference in temperatures. For the Basin in Orange County, temperatures in the 80s, 90s, and then 90s as we head into Tuesday. As we check out one more seven-day forecast right here for the valleys, you'll see temps in the triple digits at least through Tuesday of next week, and we are getting just a little cooler by Wednesday. Checking out one more seven day forecast, you will see temps in the triple digits every single day of this week, this weekend, and early next week. By Wednesday, we're cooler, but by cooler, we're at 99 degrees, which is pretty tremendous. And as we get a look at one more seven day forecast for the deserts, mountains, and the beaches, 70s and 80s, the mountains in the 90s and 80s, and the desert communities in the triple digits for the next seven days. But we're going from one 114 to 104 and all of a sudden 104 is starting to sound well cool. It's all relative, right? For the mountains, we're in the 90s and 80s and the beaches in the 70s. Yes, we are expecting a little fog, but we're also looking at rip current potential and high levels of bacteria in the water for some beaches. So keep that in mind if you are planning on heading to the coast. But for now, we are expecting heat from the coast all the way to our desert communities from the mountains to the sea. Back to you guys. All right, Evelyn, thank you so much. 104 doesn't sound so bad. <laughs> Thanks for watching KCAL News at 10, our next newscast at 11 on CBS. And of course, we're always on on KCALnews.com. You watch KCAL News in the evening. Now, the local coverage KCAL's known for at night is on all morning long. KCAL News mornings from 4 to 11. More breaking news, more local news, more KCAL. Now you can get your KCAL news, weather, and live stream all in one place on the CBS News app. Download it free today.